Yeah. Just a quick, just a quick general point about yeah. about the sequels in in themselves, because this was a this wasn't easy for me. Yeah. I, I, this wasn't easy to find. I mean, I I find I have plenty of films in in on my shelves that are generally thought of as being bad yeah. that I like. Yeah, but sure. but sequels mm. were really hard to think up. It was I a really mean, good the, idea. Yeah. yeah. One good one, one, one that I considered was actually a, was Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, mm, which I yeah. remember I, I liked both Bill and Ted's a lot. Yeah. Um, they're not they don't really stand the test of time. So well, the Bogus mm. Journey I think is really good for a sequel. No. Like, it could have been just you know just cashing in, but I thought it's a, a gen, like Death uh, uh, as their bass player is, is mm. brilliant. Sorry, but we're not talking about that, yeah. that movie. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but it was it was a tough thing. And uh, and seeing on from that, it's Teros' turn with. No, for me it was easy. Uh, it was easy. Yeah, totally. There was really only one choice. What could that okay. be? What is it? Well, it's Chronicles of Riddick. <laughs> it's, you mean, it's, it's you, so this is your this is your choice it for is. a sequel that is misunderstood <laughs> it is. that people just I don't mean, like, but yeah, you think yeah. it's the, the Chronicles of Riddick. I admit, <laughs> man, you got your work cut out for you today. <laughs> it might have a few flaws in it, <laughs> just a few, a tad. It's like pinch. Hitler had a few bad <laughs> ideas. But, <laughs> but generally the man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the basic idea of the Chronicles of Riddick is that you have this character that is sort of like, um, it's like Wolverine in space. Yeah, okay, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the first movie is... That'd uh, be a good movie. That'd be a really good movie. <laughs> and the first movie, the... Um, Pitch Black is really about, it's, it's a simple sort of like, uh, it's like the first Alien movie. Yeah, it's of. very localized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I sort of have to admire this sort of a failed and flawed and ultimately pretty shitty attempt at trying to build up this mythology that is so grand with all the negro mongers yeah, it's, it's, yeah. and it's, uh, it's not just a planet it's a whole galactic empire yeah i mean yeah. it's like dark star wars kind of thing i mean it's it i have to admit it because the, when i picked the sequel the first time i had seen it was in 2004 or 5 when it was released yeah and this is the second uh, time i've ever seen it and the first time I liked it, and now I sort of hated it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the first 20 minutes are just so incredibly bad. They're necessary, because otherwise you, you, you have to explain this empire, yeah. basically. You don't have to explain Riddick, you have to explain yeah. the empire. He's straightforward. And it's really like but a stupid empire. It's so, it's so dumb. <laughs> and worshipping death, you know, that's what, okay, that's what Thanos does. Now, they got yeah. that from the old comic books, because Thanos hadn't appeared on the screen. And still, mm. I'm like, oh, they worship death. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like there's a prophecy or something, you know, things yeah. like that. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whenever, it's, it's a it's, device that I don't enjoy. Yeah. yeah, and it's... It does explain why they want to kill everybody. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I'll And what's uh, my, but the thing about that even is that what's this idea of the underverse? It's like yeah. the underworld basically, yeah. but it's like a universe, so it's not a world, but it's a verse. And so, if it I mean, actually exists, it, it is worse. Yeah. Why don't you just kill yourself worse. instantly? Like, yeah, why not kill yourself and go to the underverse? And then the I guess the point is to get everybody. It's it's sort of like a hippie movie in a way. Oh, yeah, you get everybody to your own good religion, and then when like everybody's the on board, you can finally <laughs> just die yeah, happily. But well, that makes sense, you know. Yeah. You, well, you, you want to. Like if you, if uh, let's say I'm a necro, whatever they're called, uh, necro necromonger. Necromonger. Yeah. Well, what does the monger mean? A monger, like like a hate monger, a fear monger. Oh yeah, you, know, yeah. you spread things. Fish mongers, <laughs> which is <laughs> that, they are people that sell fish are fish mongers. Yeah, you know? True, yeah. true, true. So um, yeah, but the hate monger, fear mongers. We say stop your fear mongering. You know, oh. like stop a, your necromongering. Necro <laughs> yeah. So they want to spread death. Okay, yeah. I can understand that. And yeah. the communal thing is true because it, let's say that you're the emperor, mm. right, of the necromongers. You yeah, you sure you could just kill yourself and go no. to the underverse, which let's be serious doesn't actually exist. He just likes killing people. Yeah. But and that's an excuse for killing people. But if you did kill yourself, then you'd be alone in the underverse, except for all the other people that died naturally, of course. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he has these weird special powers, the yeah. emperor. And I, the thing that I was thinking about when I saw it the second time was that is there like a sort of a good movie here if you dissect it? 
dissect it and then you reassemble it. Like, um, well, I'm a bit curious what happened after. You know, now Riddick is the emperor at the oh, end. Oh, there's, there's a third, a third one. one. Well, yeah, I didn't yeah, see yeah, it. I yeah, there's that. a third one, and it is. I haven't seen it either. But it's, it's a comedy. It's, it's lazy it's, old Riddick. It's apparently it's worse. That it is really, really bad because it wow. starts off with Riddick being tired. He's been the the leader of the Necromongers for like two years, does, and does he's he just continue the killing and stuff. I don't know. I haven't seen it, okay. but but I just know that the pr no, beginning premise is that I've he's seen in. It. I've actually yeah. seen the movie. Okay. Yeah, but uh, it's I can't remember because in my if I remember correctly, it starts with Riddick being on some planet all alone because he's being betrayed. That's the oh, basic. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a new idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, is, then, is there a prophecy? <laughs> so, no, it's, the, it's back to the simple rules of pitch black, basically. Then there's oh, something. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, blah, blah, blah happens. And they, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, I, I heard that, from what I've heard, is, is that it, it is sort of returning to that pitch black territory, but it's yeah. just done worse. Yeah. yeah. A lot okay. worse. That's it. That's it. But, yeah. but so it's the, localized. Yeah. Instead of yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold him down. What is happening? Yeah, let's cut him loose. Oh, yeah. But it, but the thing about and I want to talk about Pitch Black for a bit because I watched both of the movies yeah. uh, just as homework for this, and I hadn't watched Pitch Black in a long time, and I thought that that's probably not going to stand the test of time no. either. And. At, Actually, it's not a bad B movie. It is. Yeah. It, it has this curious chemistry between the characters that they, that the, you know that it's ludicrous, and yeah. you know mm. that it's fairly. It's and not you very know how well. It's going to end. Yeah, mm. it's not very yeah. well made. It's a, a lot. A lot of the special effects stuff is just having colored lenses because they yeah. didn't have money, or or just twisting the. Uh, just sort of distorting mm. the, the 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 image a bit, or something like that, because they and the. And the special effects of the creatures is really hammy yeah. and so on, but and it Vin is. Diesel is such a good actor. <laughs> it <laughs> but, is, but it is, but it is that it is that curious uh, interaction with all of the main characters who, who are all like in these movies. They're all always their stereotypes and so on. Yeah. But it doesn't matter in a way. It doesn't matter in 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 Pitch Black because there's something in that movie that just grips you, and I thought that. Watching Chronicles of Riddick, mm. it was that classic e example of of a, of a sort of an independent movie maker making his first movie, and he sort of struggles, and he he has to make ends meet, and he has to make uh, try to come up with creative solutions to yeah. make up for the money, uh, make up for the fact that he doesn't have money. Yeah, and in the second one, you give that same director a massive budget. And they blow it because they, 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 they put it on everything that's not relevant and they, got this, they have this huge pressure that they have to mm. perform like well after the mm. first movie and then you have to have these, have to have these great production values mm. and you increase the effects budget and yeah. then the plot gets lost. In how, the, in how, the did it, how did it do in the box office? The the Chronicles of Riddick. I think it was a flop. Flop. Really. Yeah, not a, yeah, not a huge a, flop, but uh, okay. yeah, yeah, it didn't do that well. But, um, and uh, and it's not really surprising because there's nothing in that movie to me that really it works as well as it did in the big, uh, in the first one. Because yeah. I'm Vin Diesel is a, a as you and I are, uh, he's a role-playing nerd. Yeah. As the, you can see a second wraith beginning to form behind you and kind of in the center of the group, Ouch. you're up first. So Calder, what do you want to do with your next round of combat? Um, let me light up the sword. You use your quick action? Yeah. You bring the blade back and as you kind of concentrate on it, closing your eyes to draw on the mystical power from your training, <laughs> reddish yellow flames begin to burst up the outside of this metallic blade. In the light that kind of lights up the exterior of the swamp, the wraith immediately recoils with this book of fear. What else are you going to do now? I like that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attack. <laughs> All right, so you get two attacks with your sword. Go ahead and roll twice. Yeah, nice. yeah. Nice. nice. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll the first attack damage with an extra D6 because the fire. Baller. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> he, he used to play... He, the cra character in XXX who is filled with tattoos, oh, yeah? he has this big tattoo that says like Melchior or something on his, okay. on his stomach. I, have a, I had a character named Melkor. 
<laughs> really? Well, what was Melkor's and story? In Triple X, well, he was a, a, just such a sick character. He was a half drow. <laughs> he was a witch hunter. It was just bananas. <laughs> In Triple X, I have a tattoo that says Melkor over my stomach. But, uh, but a, lot of those, a lot of those movies that, that Diesel has made, you can see that sort of nerdy thing going on mm -hmm. there. I okay. mean, he, re uh, he obviously really likes the Riddick character, and he kind of yeah. makes it work. The character itself is kind of interesting. Yeah. But the problem is that the, the plots, especially in the second one, I, I, I sort of found myself watching like a badly... Uh, uh, Badly made up role playing campaign in a sci fi. Yeah. True. Sci fi. Yeah, like the Secret of Human Master is just not very no, good. Yeah. No, and no. he says, okay, and then there's these, this <laughs> empire, and, um, and they, they worship death. No. And so they kill people because they send them to the Underverse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.